Okay, next step is an async example. But this an async example doesn't cover anything new. Actually, we already studied about the synchronous code on here on testing synchronous code. It it actually it, it brings us the the concept of the mocks folder and the text fo test folder but we'll co we'll we'll be working with it on the manual mocks so i'll just skip that part to save us time and i'll go to the timer mocks Since the native timers functions they they depend on real time to elapse it's not good for testing but just give us fake timers uh, or timer mocks so we can work with the time where we can control the passage of time so let's copy this first example So let's create this timer game file and also the test. They are on the the same folder. Oops, sorry. Test it, not start. Okay, so let me explain this test. Uh, we have the timer game, and the timer game, they, it, it starts with the ready go, and after one second has passed, it calls the timers up, stop, and then it calls the callback for the timer game. And here we are using the fake timers of the Jest, and in that case, uh, we start the timer game, we don't pass any callback to it, and, and you can see here that on our logs, we only have this ready go, so the so the test didn't didn't enter here because it didn't pass one second. And because we are using the fake timers, our set timeout will be a mock of the jest, so we'll have access to those to those matches. Like in this in this example, is the two have been called times one, so we expect that the set timeout has been called one time. And also we expect that the last call was made with uh, a function, any function. In our case, it's it's this function here. And the last parameter with the with one second. So we're not controlling any time here. We're just, just it's just an example of using the set timeout as a mock. on the same file so let me clear all the tasks and run it it fails oh sorry it fails because it is on the same set folder let me clear this and test here uh, so here we have the timer game and we have the callback and uh, we didn't have the callback on the on the first example and because we're not controlling the time yet uh, we just expect that this callback has not been called and and that works and here in here I, I say to just to run all the timers all the fake timers so after it runs all the fake timers uh, we expect it call back to be called and also that it to be called one time so this console log here they are relate to this first one and also to the second one but we can see here that okay we have we have this this console log called for both the first test and the second test the second one is expected because I'm running the timers here, but these run timers also run the timers for this first test. So to to fix it, let let me use the the before all and the after each. So here I'm just saying to just to use the fake timers, so it it won't have any any. An impact on our application, it keeps showing that the true. But I'll show you an spoiler, spoiler because it's useful in, in that place of the test. Uh, we have the clear all timers here. So we can reset the timers. 
okay we're here so we can reset the timers after all the tasks so after each each actually so we want to reset after each run I will clear all the timers so let me clear this and run again and now it works as expected so the first one we only have the ready go because it didn't run and the second one we have the ready go but also the call to the to this to this console log that is inside the timeout Let me create this example. Okay, so here what's what's happening. Uh, in the infinite timer game, we, we start the we start the, the game and then after one second we 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 say the time's up, 10 seconds before the next game starts. So it, it calls a callback here and also after 10 seconds it calls again the infinite timer game. So let's open our tests and here we are, we are creating this callback and we are sending to infinite timer games. Uh, we expected the callback to be called one time. We expect those parameters uh, in this in the case uh, they will be it will be like this function and also this one. So this one will be will be called uh, called not executed. Okay, so uh, it won't it didn't pass one second yet. So those elements were not were not called. And here we are saying to run only the pending timers so it won't run like future timers it will run only the ones that was set uh, at first so it will run only this this body here and then we expect the callback to be called so the callback is called here so yes that's true and the call the set timeout to be called only two times so it will be called here so and then it will be also called here not executed only called here okay we have already run this test it went well but let's let's break this this app and let's let's see what what happens if I try to to run all timers inside of it you see that it is taking more time than expected it will probably timeout or overflow I don't know what what will happen here okay let me break this ex execution uh, I don't know how, how many times it will console log so as you can see here it, it will break the task okay we can also advance timers by time. So uh, this is the same example we have, but this is another another task. And let me place it there. Okay, we have here. So here we it's it's very similar to, to this one, but here we are just advancing time, uh, advancing timers by time, just one second, and that's exactly the time we have here. So let's test it. Okay, one failed. Why does this one fail? Okay, I forgot to fix the require. Okay, I'll work. If I add one second, one millisecond here and try to run it again, you can see that it fails on on this on this last call because it's only advancing one second, not one second and one 